this should apply anywhere. If you have high pressure somewhere and low pressure somewhere else, the high pressure will flow to the low pressure. Although that's probably a bad way of explaining it. A better way of explaining it might be if I have a high amount of pressure here and a low amount of pressure here. If the high amount of pressure can expand, what will happen is that high amount of pressure will expand until everywhere in that container that it's in is the same amount of pressure. Afterwards, no matter where you measure the pressure in that container, there will be the same pressure. Even if it was in the area that had low pressure, that would be the same pressure as the rest of the container. Enough of this clown. We all know where he's going with this one. Without even watching the rest of his dribble, he's going to ask, how do we get a pressure gradient inside an enclosed system? He obviously only read part of the second law of thermodynamics because he missed the part that says if no more energy is added to the system. If there was a glass dome creating a pressurized system, what energy would still enter our enclosed world? Mm, that would be the sun, solar radiation. Now, how does this extra energy of the sun entering our enclosed system contribute toward differences in pressure? The simple answer is our weather system. The sun heats up the oceans, causing clouds to form, and weather systems are constantly created, then release their energy, and then new ones form. That is why on a cloudy day the pressure is lower, and on a clear day the pressure is higher. So to say that a pressure gradient is not possible in an enclosed system is correct, if there is no extra energy acting on the system. Unfortunately for this know-it-all, the sun is a pretty big and important source that interacts with our enclosed system every day. I will give this guy one compliment though, his haircut is way better than Heath's. We also need to distinguish between an open system, a closed system, and an isolated system. A classic example of all three are as follows. An open system is like the saucepan with no lid, boiling a soup. The closed system is like the saucepan with a lid, boiling the soup. And the isolated system is like a thermos with the soup inside. The flat earth inside a glass dome would be a closed system because it still allows energy to exchange through the glass. If it didn't allow the sun's energy, we'd all be dead. Perhaps this clown has confused a closed system with an isolated system.